The RAF Benevolent Fund has recently released research findings into the prevalence and experience of problem gambling among RAF personnel. Today, I'm really pleased to be joined by Justin Larkham, a military veteran. Um, Justin, thank you so much for joining us. Um, could you tell us a bit more about yourself and the impact that gambling had on you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I spent 10 years in the military. Um, I had a fantastic time. I guess you could call me a bit of a thrill seeker. Um, I had some difficult experiences in Bosnia, which possibly didn't, um, I hadn't really dealt with. Um, when I left the army, um, I had a bit of trauma. Um, my son um, had a, a, an epileptic fit when he was 11 months old um, and very nearly died in my arms. After that, um, uh, life was... A, kind of boring um, work was a bit boring I didn't get the thrill that I got in the military um, and so I found gambling um, and over the course of three years um, that gambling habit turned into an addiction um, and cost me three quarters of a million pounds um, I lost my my wife sadly my my family my home uh, my job and pretty much everything and I've always asked myself why why did that happen I'd never been a gambler before um, and I think gambling um, for me was kind of an, an escape from uh, the normality uh, of life. Um, it's not a habit I picked up in the military, um, but I think there are links between my life in the military uh, and my need to kind of go out and um, you know, throw my life away through, through gambling addiction. And really interesting to hear you say that your gambling problems emerged as a veteran rather than when you were serving and we're aware that previous research um uk research among veterans indicates that veterans are uh, significantly more likely to experience problem gambling than non-veterans but among serving personnel and the piece of research that we did it's the at-risk group that seems more significant among serving people yeah. so from your own experience can you give us any insight into why you think that might be I, I think I've got some character traits. Um, those character traits are, um, I like to take risks. Um, I, I'm, you know, I was parachute trained, I, I was um, commando trained, um, and um, I used to get my, my thrill on the rugby pitch or, or wherever. And when I lost all of that, I think I carried those character traits over into civilian street um, and I never really managed to um, find that outlet until I until I found gambling. So I, I think in, in a sh in short answer to you, I think there are certain traits that people who are in the military and who are incredibly successful in their careers sometimes carry over um, when they finish their military careers and need an outlet. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, totally. And so for you, how did you get out of the problem that you found yourself in? How did you find yourself where you are now where actually it's not a problem for you? I'd, I'd hit my rock bottom. And I think if you ask anyone, it doesn't matter what their, um, what their habit is, what their addiction is, if, you, if you've reached that stage where you can't fall any further, um, and, and I reached a stage where I was considering taking my own life or even committing a, a, a crime, um, I, I said that that's enough. That's it. And I reached out. Um, it was a it was a habit that I internalized. I didn't tell anyone about. I was so ashamed of it. Um, I didn't want to talk about it, even to my wife. I, I hid my habit for three three years from her. I, I think the key thing is to talk about it, to be open about it, and to say, I'm really sorry. You know, whether it's a mental health issue or an addiction issue, but I I need some help here. I can't deal with this. On my own and that's what I did. Yeah and I know you're, um, you're a very strong voice in this area which, which is great. Um, so in terms of the research that the RAF Benevolent Fund has done and I know you're sort of familiar with it, if this research could lead to just one change what would it be for you? Do you know what I'd love to see? Um, the Army and the RAF and the Navy, the military are really really good um, at supporting people. It's a lifestyle. It's not just a, a job where you go into the office nine to five. Um, so what I'd love to see is I'd love to see a little bit more support in relation to gambling. Every year um, people are, are, are given education and awareness in relation to drugs and to alcohol. I'd like to see gambling 
added to that, even if it was just a 15 minute test every every year that everyone had to do online on understanding the statistics, knowing the number of people that get into trouble through this, avoiding the issue before it becomes a problem. And you're so right. It's more about people who are at risk than those who have a real problem. So let's have you know, a 15 minute test every every year not a test a, an, an online learning module an awareness module um, that people can do um, both while they're serving and while they're transitioning out just give them the knowledge and the education yeah and that's definitely one of our recommendations to actually raise awareness and increase education among people thank you so much for your time uh, really interesting to chat to you thanks justin my pleasure thank you alison